What's going on, fellow trash trackers? Today I'm looking at the toy diecast. Foo Bar Bar. <laughs> uh, miniature garbage truck. So, in the video, we'll be taking a look at should you buy it? Um, would your kids like it? What scale are we looking at? And um, overall, just give you my thoughts and opinions. I'd say the truck isn't officially based off of any model, but to me it's pretty obvious that it's based it's supposed to be a Whitkey Mac front loader. It's got the exact same cab and body. Like a smaller first gear one. I'll show you the first gear in a minute just so you can get a sense of scale. Comes a little dumpster. The lids are nice and loose. Pretty solid. You can't really break that easily. Really nice detailing. Uh, these inlays are plastic, actually. And then the rest of it's die cast. Uh, the back is die cast. Flaps are plastic. Most of the small details are plastic. Same with this. The uh, hopper cover. Cannot remove that. But it flips up and down. Uh, the cab tilts forward. Pretty smooth. And the back opens. But the thing about the back is there's locks on the back. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, there's, there's little locking mechanisms. And you have to push those down on both sides before it actually opens up. So I think that's going to be it. That can be a bit of a challenge for kids. It's just trying to open it. Uh, they might break it. But you just gotta make sure the uh, locking mechanisms are completely down for it to open up freely. And they don't break it and get frustrated at it. Back opens up. I what I have in here. Got little Lego bits. Storing in there. Uh, the mud flaps are actually attached in the back. On the bottom right here, not the tailgate, which I think is is good. They're not going to break as easily. It feels very sturdy. Um, no packer mechanism or anything like that. Here's the inside, and of course the front loader. So you want to see it in action. You gotta have the uh, this flip up for the forks to come down, which is a bit of a letdown because it can. It's probably gonna easily snap off. I've only used this for a display. Someone gave it to me, and I figured I'd do a review on it. So it lines up. The arms are very stiff. Once you use it, it'll probably loosen up a bit more. As you can see, it's gonna be hard for a kid, to, uh, a kid to play with. And then just fold back up. Like that. So, overall, it's an okay toy. Like, as, as a toy itself, I give it a 2 out of 5 just because you can't really play for it. So I play with it, but for maybe about ten-year-olds, I recommend this totally. It's fun. It looks good for display, and I'm sure a lot of you here are wondering what the scale is for it. So it's actually really similar to Lego scale. So you got some generic garbage men minifigures. So it's actually, you know, fairly close to Lego scale. A little bit smaller, but Legos aren't, you know, in official scale in, in themselves. And then I want to compare it to a first gear garbage truck because a lot of you diecast fans out here maybe bought this as like an addition to your first gear fleet. So here's the first gear truck. As you can see, it dwarfs it. Size comparison there. 
yeah, it's it's significant. But as you can see, it's it's the same cab, but not official. So first year trucks cost about between 125 and 200 dollars upwards, like that's in the lower scale, and this only costs about 30 to 40 dollars. So as a lower end, I think it's definitely worth it, but you know, it's not it's nowhere near perfect. So let me know if you guys have one of these, what do you think of it? Is it worth your money? Uh, I'll see you guys in next Monday's video at Trash Trackers.